everyone welcome to anonymous world hope you all are doing well it has been a long time since i uploaded a video i was a bit busy in some other work so now i am back so in this video i will show you a demonstration of a tool called docker scout uh, docker scout is a solution for proactively enhancing your software supply chain security so basically it scans your uh, uh, docker images uh, it analyzes our images and then it compiles our inventory of components which is uh, which are also known as software bill of materials or known as uh, as bomb okay so first we will see uh, the process of installation and then how we can actually use it use this so the installation process is pretty simple you just need to run this two command uh, one is for installing this particular script and then other uh, other one is you need to just uh, execute this script so by doing so you can easily install docker scout on your uh, linux machine and one more thing you need to do is that uh, you need to log in via docker uh, log in in your docker like you can use in your cli command docker login and simply you can log in in your docker by giving your username and password of docker hub okay so let's see how to use this tool okay so i have already installed this tool and we will directly jump to the actual command so docker scout cvs cvs is the main flag here uh, it will tell you all the uh, cvs available in your image you need to give image then your tags so for example i have my repository named the chosen one and in that i have one image so i will specify that particular image here so the chosen one print post is my image name and 13.1 is the tag so by default it will take the latest one and then you need to specify the output format you can either specify serif as bom or spdx okay so i have specified serif here and then hyphen o is for output file like where you want to store this particular output so you can give that serif.json or output the serif will also work it will work fine okay so hit enter and then it will start uh, analyzing your this particular image so it takes a little bit of time so let's just wait and you can go through the documentation of docker scout to see uh, more further commands Okay, so you can see it says new version available and it detected 33 vulnerable packages with a total of 118 vulnerabilities and report is written to this particular file. So now we are on hub.docker.com where all your uh, images are stored or say repository. So you can see I use that chosen one post and the tag was 13.1. It says uh, OS is Linux type is image and it has uh, given the vulnerabilities as well. 17 critical, 33 high, 32 medium, 35 low, and 2, the last one is unspecified. Okay, so uh, basically, whatever output you get in your JSON file there, or serif file which we did there, you can see the same output here as well in this uh, UI. But you don't have uh, any option to like uh, mitigate the vulnerability or change the status of the vulnerability or severity of the vulnerability or anything. Okay, so it's just the uh, result in UI form. Okay, so let's see what we have here. You can see it says analyzed by Docker Scout. Go to the tag and then you can see here vulnerability. So it says one vulnerabilities is 119. But in terminal we got that vulnerabilities were 118. So now I will tell you that uh, why this difference is happening why at one place is 118 and one place 119 when both of the uh, image are same which has been scanned okay okay so this is the json file which we created using uh, cli the same report of that 2001 post 13.1 so it uh, so it gives you uh, bit, uh, so it gives you uh, so much details like it will give you CV ID, then name of that uh, OS package vulnerability, and then it will give you a help URI. So, like you can uh, directly go to that particular U uh, URI for that CV to get more details, and then it gives you a small description of that particular vulnerability. Like it says in JNU tar before 1.35, mishandle extension attributes in uh, that, and so on. Okay. It also gives you uh, some properties like severity of this particular CV. So in this case, it was unspecified. Then it also tells you the fixed version of this particular CV. Like what is the fixed version in which uh, uh, version this particular CV is fixed. And then it has some more fields like Perl and security severity and tags. 
now here pearls play an important role uh, because of this only in report you see 118 vulnerabilities while on ui you see 119 vulnerabilities okay so let's see where the one vulnerability has disappeared so you can see there are 17 critical okay now let's see how many criticals are in report so we can just copy the cvss v3 severity and specified okay so it tells there are two unspecified so right now we are checking for critical so in report there are 17 critical vulnerabilities in high there is 32 but in ui there is 33 so there is a mismatch of one vulnerability in high category in high severity let's see the rest of them medium is 32 then we have low as 35 and then unspecified we saw it was 2 so basically we have uh, one severity in one high severity vulnerability which is getting mismatched in report we have 32 and in ui we have 33 so uh, let me tell you where it went let's scroll through all the high severity vulnerabilities in here see okay 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 go ahead okay oh uh, you saw that it has two pearls uh, every high severity vulnerability or see every vulnerability cv has only one pearl but this particular cv has two pearls so let's check this in ui for this particular cve okay so we can uh, check this with CV 20221271. Let's see what's happening in the UI. So you can see it's source to vulnerability and both are high. Okay. So uh, so what's happening here? There are uh, two packages, and the the uh, so what's happening here is there are two packages: or uh, Debian zzip 1.93 and Debian exit utils. Now both has same CV, CV2022, 1271 and both are of high severity, okay, so CV is same, okay, so they both are of high, uh, high severity. So what uh, the CLI one does, like the report you generate from CLI, it combines them in one. Like if any CV is found at two places with same severity, it will just uh, give you under uh, one CVE ID, like if there were uh, four CV, uh, four packages containing same CV with same severity. Then you must have. Uh, then you may observe that there are four pearls under same CV ID. So that's why uh, there is mismatch of uh, one vulnerability in this particular case. So it has merged uh, both of them in one in the CLI report, and for that it has given two different pearl IDs. So we can check that again. So let's go to our VS code again. So it has CV2022 1271 and you can see there are two pearls. And you can see uh, one is Debian zzip and another one is Debian exit util. So uh, now it is, I guess it is pretty clear that why there is a mismatch of vulnerability count. So by using this uh, tool Docker Scout, you can easily analyze your uh, images for the uh, kinds of vulnerabilities and then accordingly you can mitigate them or accept risk them or whatever you would like to do that so i guess it is pretty clear and i will also give the link to this website and command as well in the description so it will be easy for you to install so that's all for this video i will see you in the next video till then keep learning